incredible creative artist, really. I'm sure you know her best from our model art films, like the one you will see a bit later. Uh, for those that thought that we were doing Q&A, we're not, but uh, there's a Q&A tomorrow, and you can come and see that for free. But now I'm going to give the microphone to Rossi, and she is going to pre present the film for us. Very good. Thank you, thank you for the presentation. Tak, tak, tak. <laughs> beautiful, this, this is space, this uh, cinema. Huge, beautiful. It seems that the, here the projections are in a good, uh, of beautiful quality, right? Well, what I can say about this film? <laughs> this amazing film, very, very funny. Perhaps what the name is the longer, longer name uh, at the beginning when, when women on the verge of a nervous breakdown opened it, everybody was like, what, what is this name? Never finished. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of funny things uh, to tell you about this film, but better tomorrow in the q &A. Tomorrow also we're going to project uh, Madame. That is a very, very beautiful film I, I made also with Amanda Stair. She wrote it especially for me. And uh, with Harvey Keitel and Tony Collette. Amazing. Uh, we shoot it in Paris. And it's a comedy, a little bit sad, but also very tender. And uh, we were on the verge, what I have, I mean, there are a lot of things I can tell you. But if I tell you now, even, I, I guess, all of you watched this film already, right? Yes? yes? No? Wait a minute, we want to do it with the head. When they're going to say one, two, three, yes with the head, no with the head, okay? One, two, three. Oh, so, uh, no. <laughs> well, I don't want to do spoil it for the people they didn't watch it yet, okay? But there are very funny things that happen in this film. And also, mm, I mean, this film never got old. You know, you're going to see that it's the time young people don't know that, but we, we, we didn't have the iPhones or the smartphones. And it uh, was a moment that you have uh, your uh, uh, telephone at home, and then you have your answer machine. <laughs> and then later, you have a, a something that you can call in a public telephone, and put that that is a, a box, a strange box, here, and then you hear your messages <laughs> that works in your house. You know what I mean? This is very funny. It's the only anachronism uh, very, uh, that you can find. But the rest of the film never get old. You know, it's so funny, and uh, I hope uh, you 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 enjoy so much. I'm sure you you're gonna laugh like crazy, and. Um, and if you want to come back tomorrow and you have some curiosities or I can tell you a lot of things about this film in the uh, behind the curtains. <laughs> okay, what I have to say, I love Pedro. This is my, uh, my second film with him. In my first film with him, The Law, Law of Desire uh, was very important now that uh, democracies are fragile because the law of desire was the first time a lot of people all over the world watched two men make love in a screen. That was very important for people who were, uh, I mean, I have friends in Venezuela at that time, homosexuality mm, was forbidden uh, for a government or even, that, that film of the law of desire is very important, but Pedro called me to work with him and what I did is uh, I was make up by myself, dressed by myself, and um, it was too much me. He, he was very happy, but I didn't feel like a, an actress, because I said, it's, it's me. <laughs> but he said, don't worry, the next film I'm gonna write, gonna write for you something that not, has nothing to do, to do with you. This virgin that you're gonna see here, very antipathic, is what, 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 nothing to do with me. Anyway. <laughs> but I hope you 
enjoy it. And tomorrow, if you have curiosities, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna be here. She's not going to be here because she has another appointment. But I'm gonna be here to you. Thank you very much. Bye.